Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I have the Brutus Monroe stamp set Shine Bright from the May 27 release. I have pre-cut a piece of paper that's just over or about five and a half inches, and I've got my stamps where I want them. I'm going to ink these up with Brutus Monroe Detail Ink and stamp them out on this sheet of paper. I'm going to make a 6x6 six six card today. Basically, I'm stamping these out, and then I'm going to cut out the bulb portion of these images. So I've got a pair of scissors here, so I'm going to sit here and fussy cut the bulb portion of these images. There's one that's been cut out. I'm just going to continue to do this. I've got a watercolor pencil here, and I'm just going to go in and color the findings or fixtures on these. I've got a Sharpie here and I'm just going to add some wires, if you will. So that kind of connects those together. I'll go ahead and watercolor the fixtures. I've got a couple of Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist Sapphire and Turquoise Blue and a little bit of water. And I'm just going to go in and loosely watercolor around these images. So I just added some water to the paper so they would spread a little bit. Well, my topper with the watercolor background is dry now, and I'm ready for the next portion of my project here. I have stamped on red vellum the same images. Since my Misty was all set up, it was just ready to go. So now what I'm going to do is add some tape to the back side of this... Um, card and then tape this into place. So I've got my ATG gun, so I'm just going to go around the images. I'm going to trim off a little bit of this that's sticking out. I had cut the topper to be just slightly larger than the red, but you have to take in consideration of where you place it in the misty because then it kind of move just a little bit. And I think I need to go around here and color that blue. You know, sometimes you don't know how it's going to come out until you get down to putting it together. So then I have this light set that I bought that has a battery pack here so this lights up so what I want to do next is layer these together so I'm going to go around the edge of this with some foam tape so that I can layer this together I've got a kind of a narrow foam tape here. I'm just going to cut a few pieces and start adding it in. All 
right, so I've got the thun foam mounted, and so now I'm just going to line this up on top. And here's the on off switch. The lights are just taped in place with some scotch tape. And then I've got a card base that I'm going to mount this on. So I'm just going to use my ATG gun. Almost put it on upside down. I've got a little scrap piece of paper here and the stamp phrase. It is your day to shine. So I'm going to load that in my MISTI and then stamp it out using the Brutus Monroe Detail Ink. use my corner rounder on this little piece just to give it a little bit more of a decorative feel. And then I'm just going to attach this with some Brutus Monroe craft glue. So I've written on here off and on. So on is up and down is off. What do you think? Is this a cute idea for adding a little bit of light? So it's your day to shine. So using the Brutus Monroe Shine Bright, I'll probably put a happy birthday sentiment on the inside and I think it's just kind of fun. I'm going to turn off the light here for a moment so you can see the way that those glow in here. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed seeing my video of how I made this little card using the Shine Bright from Brutus Monroe and Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist. I don't know, I just think it's kind of a fun little card to give for a birthday present or something. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Check out the description box below for all the items that I use today. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and of course here on YouTube. Make sure you hit that little bell so you get notifications the next time I upload a video. Thanks so much for watching today. Have a fabulous day. Bye.